Hello, everyone. I'm Priyanka Baloni, a senior research scientist at the Institute for Systems Biology in Seattle. To give a brief background, I'm a trained microbiologist and transitioned to be a systems biologist. I'm currently leading various projects that are focused on identifying metabolic markers in various health-related outcomes, such as Alzheimer's disease, pregnancy complications, cancer, and infectious diseases. You can know more about the work that I do at the Institute by visiting the webpage at ISP's website. Today, I would like to talk about what is big data and its applications. In simple terms, big data describes large, hard to manage volumes of data, which are both structured and unstructured. As the data is so large, it's tough to store the data. So it's a big challenge in storing the data and processing it using traditional methods. That's the reason various softwares and technologies have emerged for analyzing big data. If we try to comprehend how big is big data, then we have to first understand the concept of the units of data. Typically, data is measured in terms of bits and bytes. Bit is normally binary, zero or one, and eight bits equal to one byte. There are other terms such as kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, and terabytes of data. An interesting fact is that one gram of DNA can store up to 700 terabytes of data. So imagine how much data is stored in our DNA. A big data is usually corresponds to zeta bytes of data. So imagine how much computing power is required for analyzing such huge amounts of data. The applications of big data are limitless. We are currently using the data to inform us for adaptive learning in the educational sector, identifying the health patterns using patient records in the healthcare se sector, accounting for various daily monetary transactions and other businesses in the banking sector, as well as the e-commerce sector. Companies such as Amazon, Microsoft, Walmart, Target have dedicated teams to analyze big data and understand various trends in sales and other, other market. In recent times, we have all been tracking the number of cases for the ongoing pandemic of coronavirus disease 19. And you might have come across this interactive dashboard hosted by the Johns Hopkins University. This dashboard is a good example of how big data is collected, interpreted, as well as visualized. The data collected from all over the world shows the number of total number of cases, the mortality rate, total vaccine doses that are administered, and also other information. This dashboard can be used for exploring additional features that are present in this, uh, in this user-friendly way. In addition to this, uh, this kind of data management, various fields of study in biology, such as genomics, transcriptomics, proteomics, metabolomics, foodomics, as well as microbiome, generates large amount of data. This data is either stored in clouds or clusters and require good computational resources. Once the data is analyzed, then comes the big challenge of interpreting the data. So the next big question that comes to our mind is how can we prepare ourselves to analyze big data? First and foremost, in order to analyze such huge data sets, we need to develop algorithms for which a good background knowledge of maths and statistics is important. Next is to learn, have the skills of different programming languages. So programming languages such as Python or MATLAB can help in, in understanding and executing functions that can be used for data analysis. In addition to uh, developing all these skill sets, we also need to visualize the data. So there are inbuilt functions in these languages that can help in visualization of the data. There are other good online resources that can help in understanding the syntax of different programming languages. So gear up, get hold of some publicly available data sets that are freely available and have fun analyzing it. You can reach out to me at priyanka.baloney at isb.org. Hope you have a fun time exploring and expanding your search space using the big data. Thank you.